OMG. Welcome back to my channel. So excited you are here. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. I appreciate it. It's Jody Dunn. I'm outside of the Walgreens coming at you with my Walgreens haul. Uh, I posted on the community tab. I was skipping out on couponing on Sunday. I actually planned to go, but I was hosting Easter brunch at my house. And by the time it was like two, three o'clock, I was like, I just want to stay home. <laughs> it was my girl's last day of spring break uh, off from school. So anyways, I'm here today to do some Walgreens deals. If you are new and you just found me, so happy that you are here. Would you please say hello to me and let me know that you are new right down there. I would love to welcome you to the channel and say hello back to you. And if you are already subscribed, thank you so much for coming back to another video. I appreciate you. Leave me a hello down there as well so I can say hi to you. We got a lot of things happening at Walgreens this week. Um, so I'm pretty excited to get in here. We got a new PNG promotion, which is amazing. I'm so darn excited about that. Uh, so we're going to run into the store. If you enjoy this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. I appreciate you so much. Let's go grab some awesome deals. Happy Tuesday. We are in the Walgreens getting ready to do some deals. I'm going to be using the multi-use spend booster of spend 30. Earn back $7 in Walgreens cash today. First deal I'm looking at is the Gillette and Venus. Uh, they are on sale for $7.99, the disposables. And on promotion for buy two, earn back an $8 register reward. I have a $3 digital for the men's. My store's not tagged for these at all. So I was just looking around and I got to scan a couple of these to see which ones are on sale for $7.99. And a bunch of these were. I'm going to choose this cute little package here because I like the package for $7.99. And I have a $3 digital coupon for this one. So the two of these will be $15.98. After my digital coupons, I'll pay $9.98, earn back an $8 register reward. It makes them $0.99 cents each. Now the women's, not the men's, the women's, I believe are included in the spend 20, earn back the $5 P&G empower her coupon and so is the head and shoulders these are on sale for six dollars each and on promotion for buy two earn back a three dollar register reward and i have a three dollar off two digital coupon and then i noticed that my store actually has a png tag up only on this one the classic clean and we know these dang png promotions they only include certain products i have no idea if they include every head and shoulders just like the Pampers Swaddlers, they only include the size four. So I'm gonna grab the one classic clean my store has and put back the other one, just in case this is the only one included. So I'm gonna have to get up to 20, not counting that second head and shoulders, just to be sure. And yes, this is one of the complications of Walgreens, which is one of the reasons why I love Walgreens, but I know not everybody does. If you know, that more than just the classic clean is included in the Empower Her P&G uh, coupon, please leave it down in the comments so we can all know. So the head and shoulders will be $12. After my $3 digital, I'll pay nine and earn back a $3 register reward. And at this point, I have one head and shoulders classic clean for $6 and one women's Venus razor for $7.99, which is $13.99 towards the spend 20 earn back the five dollar p and g coupon so i'm gonna go ahead and grab some crest toothpaste i'm going for the three dollar ones these are on promotion for buy two earn back a three dollar register reward well i'm gonna grab three of them so that i can use the five dollar off three digital coupon and i believe these are included in the spend 20 earn back the five dollar empower her coupon so now with my one venus my one head and shoulders and the three crests i have 22.99 towards that promotion so for my crest they're going to be nine dollars minus my five dollar digital i'll pay four dollars earn back a three dollar register reward i am building my transaction up so i'm going to be getting more than thirty dollars worth of product so that i can use walgreens cash to pay get a lower out of pocket and still earn back my Walgreens cash for my digital spend booster. So I'm going to do the gain deal. The larger size gain are on sale for $9.99 each. 
and on promotion for buy two earn back a five dollar register reward and i have a three dollar digital coupon for the flings and the liquid so after those digitals, I'll pay $13.98, earn back a $5 register reward, makes both of these big laundries like $4.50 each. But here is the great part. We got a new P&G Visa promotion, which I'm so darn excited about. And everything in my basket is included in that promotion. So it started April 1st. It runs through the 30th. It's pggoodeveryday.com is the website. I have it linked down below in the description box. This rebate is a limit of two. Every time they come out with these rebates, they do change the products up. So you have to look and see. It does not include all P&G products. I have a video linked down in the description box where I walk you through exactly how to do the P&G rebates. So if you're not sure, definitely check that out. But I do these every time they come around because I'll be buying these products anyway, so I might as well get some extra back. And you do not have to do it all in one transaction. So I always save my receipts to maximize and submit for when I have $50 after manufacture coupons worth of product, I'll get the $15. You can submit for the spend 20, earn five, but I never do that one. I always go for the $15. And I checked all of the barcodes of all of the products that I'm buying. They're all included in this rebate. And I often get questions like, where do you find a list of the barcodes? You don't. I walk you through how to check that in the video that I have linked walking you through how to do the P&G rebate. So again, check that out if you've never done one of these. I have enough in product right now that I can safely use $20 in Walgreens cash and still earn back my digital spend booster, but I might decide to go for my monthly spend booster. Um, I got a spend 25 six times and earn back $25 in Walgreens cash. It's the same monthly spend booster I got last month and I didn't bother with it because I do shop on multiple accounts. Uh, so I, I might go for it this time. So I'm actually gonna go ahead and get my product total a little bit higher, but I I'll also link a video down in the description box where I walk you through how to track your purchases in real time to know exactly where you are for that monthly spend booster. So I'm gonna go ahead and just add the Arm & Hammer. They're on sale for $8.99. I don't have any coupons for this, but I do have a $5 Ibotta rebate. So now everything in my basket totals me $65.95. And I only need to spend the highest amount of 40 for my um, monthly spend booster. And then I'll also qualify for my weekly spend booster. So I can safely use $20 in Walgreens cash and get a lower out of pocket and still earn back my Walgreens cash. I am gonna go ahead and throw in a store coupon. Now remember, store coupons give a store discount, so they do not count towards any spend amount. I'm gonna use this one, it's $5 off. I got it from doing skincare. It says you can only use it on skincare. It will scan for anything as long as your cashier will scan it. So after using that store discount, now I'm at $60.95 in product. So I can still use $20 in Walgreens cash and I'll still earn back my weekly or the two week spend booster of spend 30, earn seven. And I'll have a trip tracking towards my spend 40 six times. I'm also gonna throw in a couple of register rewards to help lower my out of pocket as well. Remember store coupons do not roll but all register rewards, including the PNG, all of them, they all roll. I'm gonna do this transaction and cross my fingers that maybe I get a paper spend booster because I don't have any. And if I do, I'm gonna do the diaper deal. I unfortunately did not get a paper spend booster and they were actually out of the size diapers I needed. But then I noticed these razors, they're normally $16.99 and these are on sale for $9.99. Now the tag says, buy two earn back a five dollar register reward but these are included in the buy two earn back the eight dollar register reward uh they're also included in the p and g promotion which i'm gonna have to get more product because this is only 1998 
I have one $3 digital coupon, but I'm gonna go ahead and grab these because I think it's a fantastic deal and I really want to do one more transaction. So I'm gonna go for the new Shea Moisture uh, deodorant. They're on sale for $10 each and they're on promotion for spend 20, earn back a $10 register reward. So these are gonna be $20. I have a $3 digital coupon for one of them and then I'm gonna submit over to Shopmium for a $3 coupon reimbursement on the second one. So that'll drop me down to $16, actually $14, and I'll earn back a $10 register reward. So it makes them $2 each. And to get me up to 20 for that um, P&G promotion, I'm gonna go ahead and grab a toothbrush that's on sale for $3. I have a $1 digital coupon for that one. Remember, these are on promotion, buy two, earn back a $3 register reward. And then I'm gonna grab a $3 toothpaste and I have a $1 digital coupon for this one. So I have $45.98 worth of product. So I'll again earn back my digital spend booster of spend 30, earn seven, and have another trip tracking towards my monthly spend booster. I can use $5 in Walgreens cash and still get credit for both of those. And I did get this in my first transaction and it actually is good for a few days. I thought it was gonna expire in two days, uh, but it's good through Saturday. I'm just gonna go ahead and throw it into this transaction and go ahead and throw in probably another register reward to help lower my out of pocket. This transaction is gonna be a cost of less than $2, which I think is awesome. And my toothpaste and my razors will get me over spending $50 so I can submit for the $15 P&G visa. All right, so this is gonna complete my Walgreens shopping. Let's head to the kitchen table and go over everything in my final cost. All right, we are back at the kitchen table with this Walgreens haul. Kind of bummed that I didn't get a paper spend booster, um, but then they didn't end up having the diaper sizes that I needed anyways. But this account just has not been getting paper spend boosters hardly ever. So I see a lot of comments where people are like, I haven't got a paper spend booster in months. I feel you. This account has not either. My one account usually does, but I didn't even test that today to see if I would get one. Um, so anyways, we just did this with no paper spend booster and it still worked out all to be free and a little bit of a money maker. Of course, it would have been a bigger money maker with a paper spend booster, but that is okay. So first transaction I did was the gain, the arm and hammer, the two disposable razors, the head and shoulders, and the three toothpaste. So let's take a look at this transaction. Uh, so there are my two head and shoulders, my two Venus, uh, Venus and Gillette, my two gain, my arm and hammer, and my crest. So I used that $5 off store coupon, and you can see it put a store discount. So instead of my head and shoulders being $6 worth of product, now it is $5.55 worth of product. So I actually figured the math in the store. I'm not gonna even explain it because it's gonna be too complicated. I've explained it before actually a few times, but when you're using a store coupon and you're doing an individual spend deal, like I was with the P&G promotion, spend 20, earn five. Oh, there's Clarky. Right, well, he just laid down. You can't even see him. <laughs> He's behind the pillow now. Um, when you're doing an individual product spend deal, like I was for the spend 20 on the Empower Her, uh, if you use a store coupon, that can take your product below 20. So I had, I don't remember, what did I say? It was $22.99. So I needed to make sure that I was still going to be at $20.00 after that store discount applied to each one of those products individually. Real quick, all you do is I was using a $5 store coupon. I take $5, I divide it by my total of products, which was $65.95. It gives me the percentage that will come off of each product. And I was still like $21. So I was totally fine. So anyways, another complication with Walgreens. <laughs> So if you were to do this exact same transaction as me, but had 
well, it wouldn't be exact because maybe you would have different products where your Empower Her products were only $20, but your total was $65, and you use that $5 store discount, that $5 store coupon, uh, you would not get the $5 P&G coupon because if you were only at $20 even, it would have taken you below. I hope that makes sense and doesn't confuse you, but I know that's going to I'm going to get comments of people like, Walgreens is way too complicated. That's why I don't like it. <laughs> it's why I do like it. So anyways, um, so there that scan just fine. Like I said, I know it said off of skincare, but it's a store coupon. It'll scan just fine for anything if your cashier will scan it. $4 and $5 was the register rewards I used. And then all of the rest of those were my digital coupons which they all came off. So $31.95 was my subtotal. And I just went ahead and used, this receipt does not show what I earned, um, but I did just go ahead and use $20 in Walgreens cash to pay. So I had to pay a subtotal of $11.95. Um, when I got in the car, I pulled it up on the app and I did earn back $7.40 in Walgreens cash, which was for my spend 30, earn seven. And then the Catalina machine spit me out. I got a manufacturer coupon for Dove, $2.50. Um, I did get the $5 Empower Her coupon, which I used in this transaction. I also got my $5 register reward for the um, laundry. My $3 register reward for the Crest, my $8 register reward for the Venus and Gillette, and my $3 register reward for the Head and Shoulders. I don't know why some register rewards look different now than others. So anyways, then I also submitted my receipt to Ibotta for $5 back on the Arm & Hammer. So total that I paid for this transaction was $45.95. That includes all the store money I used and the actual amount I paid. I earned back $7.40 in Walgreens cash, $24 in register rewards, and submitted to Ibotta for $5 back. So this transaction ended up costing me $9.55. Then I went ahead and did this transaction here where I got the, um, I just thought that was a fantastic deal for those razors normally being $16.99. I mean, there, there are razors that are normally $11.99 that were on sale for $9.99. So I was so happy to find those. So I grabbed those. I really wanted to get the Shea Moisture and um, then added the Crest and the Oral-B. So there is my Venus, both of those, my Shea Moistures, my Crest, and my Oral-B. I used the Empower Her $5 coupon, and then another $5 register reward. All of my digital coupons came off, and my subtotal was $27.98. I did go ahead and use $5 in Walgreens cash because that's all I could use to still get credit for my um, monthly spend booster, which I already pulled it up. It's tracking in real time. I have two trips now tracking towards that make six trips. And again, the video is linked in the description box where I walk you through how to find that. Um, so then I paid the $22.98 using my PayPal debit card. And then the Catalina machine, oh, and this receipt did show me, I did earn $8.40 in Walgreens cash. That was $7 for my spend 30 earned seven. And then I actually used my Walgreens credit card to pay for this one. Um, which I get 5% back. So I earned a little bit like another dollar back. And then the Catalina machine put me my $10 register reward for the Shea Moisture. I did get the $5 for the Empower Her, um, my $3 for the Crest, and then my $8. So it didn't print the five, even though that's what my store is tagged, the $8. For that one. So for this transaction, I paid $37.98. I earned back $8.40 in Walgreens cash, $26 in register rewards, and submitted to Shopium for $3 back for the second Shea Moisture. So my cost was 58 dang cents, 58 dang cents for this transaction. But now with both of these receipts, I have enough in product after my manufacturer coupons 
to submit for a $15 visa for the new P&G visa promotion. So now everything ended up being free plus a $4 in 87 cent moneymaker. So, so excited about that. I actually had enough with this receipt to submit because I also have a Pampers receipt from CVS from yesterday that I could add to it. Um, and actually I might do that and then save this receipt. But either way, I think after my digital coupons, I had $5, um, like $55. So I might just save that receipt instead because with this receipt and my $19 receipt from CVS, I'm at like $50.95. Now, one thing that I did not explain in the tutorial on how to do the PNG, I always get this question, is what if you use register rewards? Do you have to count that? as a coupon used? And the answer is, it depends. Because what is your subtotal of product? If your subtotal of product is $2, then that's all you can count. My subtotal of product is $31.95. It doesn't matter that I use $20 in Walgreens cash here. We're going by the subtotal, $31.95. So I can count a total of $31.95 towards my product. I did use a store coupon and I did use two register rewards, but I still have enough in a subtotal to support that. This one over here, I used two register rewards. I'm just putting those right on the products that don't count towards my rebate, which is the um, Oral-B does not count towards the rebate and neither do the Shea Moistures. So I can count $19.98 minus Three was my digital coupon and then three minus one. So I can count that amount and my subtotal supports that amount. So hopefully that is helpful. And I'm super excited, almost a $5 money maker for this entire trans or this entire haul. And I think that is fantastic. So there you go. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. I appreciate you so much. And I'm gonna see you again soon. Bye.